Hi, Hi guys. guys, I'm Phil. I'm Katie. And this is a vlog. So as of right now, we are going to be posting one video every Friday evening. We basically want to show you how disgusting we are with, like, having everything in common and finishing each other's sandwiches, sentences, <laughs> and just all around enjoying each other's time. Our ultimate goal with these vlogs is to share our lives with everyone else and to leave ourselves a sort of diary, a sort of collection of videos that remind us about what we were doing at any point. Sorry, time. how are you sitting right now? Our relationship is awesome. We basically know what the other person is going to say at any point in time. I can literally just ask her a question and look in her eyes and tell what she's going to answer. You want ice cream? No. Maybe that's just me. Close enough. I was looking at my reflection. <laughs> <laughs> that made you think of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> no, my own reflection. I was looking in my own eye and I wanted ice cream. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> no, our relationship's been an interesting one. Uh, we met through an app on our cell phones. We chatted on the app for a little bit, talking back and forth, just trying to find out information and make sure that the other person wasn't a giant creeper. When we got to the point that we were reasonably sure that they weren't, <laughs> <laughs> we set up a meeting. A date, if you will. I didn't think it was the first date. She wasn't sure. I... He didn't say, can I take you on a date? He just said, let's meet. That is very true. Our first date was a photography date. Yes. Where we went out and took pictures. It was getting dark by the time we got there. So some of the pictures were really difficult to take, but that's okay because we cared less about the pictures and more about each other. <laughs> so everything worked out just fine. <laughs> I would say it was a pretty good first date. I definitely agree. We ended up sitting on the side of a hill talking for hours, not taking pictures, <laughs> which I'm sure is okay with her just as much as it was with me at the time. Yeah. Katie, what kind of camera are we going to use for our vlogs? I have no idea. Don't tell me that, tell them that. I have no idea. The one we're using right now is a Canon Rebel T5i, which is my camera, my baby. So that's just for sit down ones. Though. Okay. So what are we using for our normal ones? I have no idea. I have no idea. As of right now, we have a Kodak M550, because I remember that off the top of my head like a disgusting robot of a human being. Tell them about the things that we have in common. Hmm. We're both photographers. We are both musicians. We both like ice cream a lot. Who doesn't? Jolie. Lactose intolerant. Jolie. Today we're going to answer some of your questions that you have yet to ask. <laughs> but we made them up because we can do that. Question number one. What are our vlogs? Our vlogs are video diaries of what we do in a day slash combination of days that make up a week. Who we are as individuals. You first. So, my name is Philip. I've moved a lot. I've seen a lot. And I've done a lot of those things that your parents say help build character. I would actually say that most of them have worked, and there's a couple that have just made me crazy. I'm sure she would agree with that. My name is Catherine, but I like to be called Katie. Catherine is my old lady name. You can call me that when I'm 82. I am 21 years old, and I've lived here my whole life, unlike him. So it's kind of cool how we came together. <clears throat> I am a single mom. I have a one and a half year old daughter named Charlotte, who we call Charlie. And I'm a symphony cellist. And I have been for the past three and a half years, I think. I think. 
But I don't really have as many interesting stories as Philip because I just kind of, kind of here. I know a photographer. Should probably mention that. What color eyes do you have? Green. What color eyes do I have? Like grayish, brownish, greenish, bluish. My driver's license says hazel. Close That's enough. not what they are. What's your favorite color? Blue. What's my favorite color? <laughs> Glow in the dark. That is correct. <laughs> I hate this question. Your mom's calling. Have you ever been arrested? No. No. That took a long time to answer that one. <laughs> no, that's the point. <laughs> scare everyone. No, I have not been arrested. Me either. What would you do if you won the lottery? Spend money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what do I, what should I do? What would you spend the money on if you won the lottery? I'd buy a house. No, I'd build a house. Yeah, yeah, you'd build a house. Do anything you want. Yeah. But you have more than that. You have like 500 million dollars. You want me to go through the list? You can do anything you want. What's the craziest thing you would do with 500 million dollars? I'd go on a trip to Europe. That sounds cool. We should do that sometime. You don't need to win the lottery for that. Next question. What talents do you have? I'm good at writing. I'm good at cello. I'm good at music, basically. I'm good at photography. That's about it. My top three. Writing, music, and photography. What talents don't I have? My mom always said anything you want to do, you can do it. And I believed her. And for the most part, it's true. There's a very few things. I can't be a horse jockey. I'm too heavy. And tall. Too tall. I can't be a basketball player because I'm too short. I can't play soccer because I have asthma. 23. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. Did that happen when you saw me? Yes. Explain And that. I'm not going to be all cliche about it. That, like... It happened. 24. Have you ever been cheated on? Yup. Three times. Yup. Have you ever cheated? Nope. Nope. What's your relationship status? Widowed. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I'm in a relationship with Philip. 33. As if you're keeping track. Do you have a crush on someone? I do. Me too. <laughs> Natalie Portman and Rachel Ray. <laughs> Number 34. What are you waiting for? Well, I have to get famous before they'll even look at me. <laughs> oh, oh, what am I waiting for? Ice cream. <laughs> I want some ice cream, okay? 35, when was your last kiss? Just now. <laughs> 36, who was that kiss with? It was her. 37, have you ever kissed a stranger? Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't ask questions. 38, what's the last text message you received? From his mom. She said, going inside, wait for you there. And then Jolie just sent me one that said, you know, I'm not sure. Yep. My mom said, you forgot your socks. <laughs> 46, if you could go back in time, how far back would you go? July 20th. That was the day that I asked her to be my girlfriend. It was cute though because he was like, Will you date me? And I was like, yeah. He was like, no, really. And I was like, really? Really, okay. <laughs> Number 48, for those who are counting, you're locked in a room with the last person you kissed. Is that a problem? No. Lock that door if you want to try it. <laughs> 49. Everyone has someone who makes them happy. Do you? That's a redundant question. Yeah. Everybody who's got someone. Do you? 
Yeah. Me too. And Jemima. <laughs> 24, are you good at hiding your feelings? Yes. I'm horrible at it. People can read me like a movie poster. It's all pictures, so it's even easier than a book. 25, do you use chapstick? Yeah. Not when I have my mustache. I don't need it. <laughs> That's an honest answer. What is something you currently want right now? Ice cream. <laughs> um, ice cream does sound good. 42, where did you get the shirt you're wearing? Vanity? Kohl's. It was like four dollars. I don't know what this one is. What's your biggest pet peeve? When people interrupt. Yours? Wait, what was your biggest pet peeve? When people I don't know. I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do that. When <laughs> people interrupt. Okay, my biggest pet peeve is incompetence. Learn how to do it. Two. Because again, somebody out there is counting. <laughs> Can you tell a cute story about the person you like? Yeah. I want to hear yours first. The first time that we ever watched a vlog. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was nervous because this is something that I watch a lot of. You know, I sit there and just watch videos all day. I don't have TV, I don't have Netflix, I have YouTube. Now, I watch YouTube on my TV, but I don't get normal cable or satellite. So when I first showed her a legitimate vlog, I was nervous. I was thinking, I hope she likes them because otherwise I'm not going to get to watch them and she's going to end up watching something completely different. But I remember her turning to me and saying, These are really funny. I didn't know these existed. <laughs> these are cute. And I said, Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. I've got like 30 of them in, on my subscription. She said, Whoa, this is awesome. And I got really excited. Then she turns to me and says, We should do that. <laughs> Here we are. What's your cute story about me? <laughs> My cute story is on our first date, <laughs> how you would not look at me. He was like, such a nice night out. Yeah, I like, I like that. <laughs> and I really sincerely hope she's over exaggerating that. It did not look like that. And then when the sun was down and it was dark and we were taking pictures of cars driving by for like light painting pictures, he finally looked at me and it was like... <laughs> and that was it! <laughs> and then I guess that's, that's how it happened. That's it. That's all it takes. <laughs> Favorite movie at the moment? Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy! Galaxy. Jigs, you owe me a coke! Ha ha ha, you caffeine tonight. <laughs> no. Best physical feature of the person you like? Arms and shoulders. Eyes. Mm. I'm sorry, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Best characteristic of the person you like? Respectfulness. Honesty. Best breakfast to have? Pancakes. <laughs> I like French toast. <laughs> if you were a crayon, what color would you be? Question number six. Sky blue. <laughs> Glow in the dark. <laughs> Number 36, in your opinion, what is the best thing about love? Not being alone. Number 48, for anyone who has been counting, good luck. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Store and buy 
I'll be honest. If somebody says, I will give you something for doing something else, there's not much that I wouldn't do. I licked between someone's toes for the opportunity to win a Bible one time. What the hell? <laughs> there's not, I just like, whatever, sure I'll do it. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit random, but that's kind of how we are, so if you like that, you can always click the thumbs up button, you can subscribe to our channel to get more videos, you can come back to our channel, Phil and Katie, <laughs> and you can tell all your friends. He's not always this annoying. I really am. No, he's What do you have to say to the people? That I'm excited to go on this journey with you guys and Philip. And I'm excited to see if this goes somewhere. And I think it's just something new and it's exciting. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. camera pirate.